My name is Alex. You might know me from this, you might know me from this, but this video isn't about either of those things. I've got a new idea. There's a way for you to directly help your neighbors, and it's a tried and true method all across the globe. Mutual aid is the idea of neighbors helping neighbors. It's not charity with a defined goal and decision makers at the top. It's solidarity with your neighbors and democracy-based decision making. Those affected are the ones making the decisions. It's hard to picture, I understand that, but let me give you some examples. Someone within your community might be immunocompromised, meaning if they catch COVID-19 or any other dangerous disease, it could be incredibly harmful to them. But that person still needs to visit the grocery store, the pharmacy, places where they could be in genuine danger. But with a mutual aid network, someone could pick up groceries, medicine, and help keep that person out of harm's way. Another example is childcare. With the pandemic, kids aren't going to school every day. And some community centers are still closed. And when they reopen, they certainly can't take every child. In a mutual aid network, there could be a series of volunteers willing to watch over children during the workday, tutor them, and not in exchange for money, but to help their neighbors and to receive help from their neighbors when they need it. But that's not all people have to offer. Some people know languages that you don't. Some people have trade skills they can teach, self-defense, martial arts, learning art, music, learning how to cook, carpentry. These things help everyone in a community and creates a more skilled community that can continue to self-improve and make things better for everyone. And if you don't have one of these skills, you could trade lessons for doing something for the instructor, such as watching their children on Friday afternoons. We could build things like community gardens, art projects, and transform the city into one we're proud to live in. This is a society we could make, and it's one that's already around us. In almost every major city, you'll find a mutual aid group. There are specific goal-oriented groups, such as Food Not Bombs, as well as many homeless mutual aid groups. But it's not just for big cities. There's a mutual aid group in Tompkins County that's done wonderfully. With over 8,000 members, they provide financial relief to their members. They have a food sharing program, food pantries on the street. They give recommendations for services, share job opportunities, voting information, and provide each other with essentials and other ways to help your community. Cortland County has one. Binghamton has one and I don't see a reason why Elmira couldn't have one as well. I would like to conduct a survey to find the needs of the community right now, so we can know where our efforts would be best applied. In the description, you can find my email. Send me a message if you're interested in helping out with this project. In the description, you'll also find a link to the survey. Please do fill it out. Telling us what you need will help us know what the community needs. I'm asking a lot, but if you could also share this video, spreading the message around will help us reach more people, which in turn helps the community. Thank you for watching. I hope at the end of this video, you shared the same vision for Elmira as I do. In any case, hope you have a good one. It's a motorcycle.